So time for a little bonus footage. So what was the root cause of this failure with the HV battery wires? Water intrusion. Um, at first I didn't get a clear story of, you know, was the original leak fixed? The owner tells me they didn't even drain the trunk. He said there's a pool of water in the trunk. Uh, apparently the trunk lid was replaced, the seal was replaced, but there's still a pool of water. And sure enough, that's exactly the case. This is not good, because that problem is gonna happen again. It gets hot, moisture everywhere, condenses on those wires, and then boom, you get another short. So, this right here, I asked them, do you want me to diagnose the source of the water leak? Because without that, I can't guarantee my repair. This is just gonna happen again. Uh, so, yes, he approved an extra hour of diagnostic time. We got some trim off. I wanna take off the this trim piece right here, and this trim piece right here, so we can get a good visual. I see some water down by the battery. I don't know if it's coming in here and then leaking over to here. This side looks fairly dry, and it does look like the bumper here isn't quite in one piece. So, I think it would be a good idea to at least remove this trim piece, this plastic, see if we see like water, you know, signs of water leaking, and uh, try to pinpoint this leak. We gotta get rid of this. All right, here we go. Got the interior of the trunk ripped out. So I see a pool of water here, so we're definitely focusing on this side. So I'm gonna get the garden hose out and just start spraying top to bottom. See what, obviously this fills up all the way and then it spills over here. And then if you brake hard, I'm sure the water goes over there towards the HV battery. Okay, there we go. I'll keep spraying it until we see, hopefully, see some water come in through here. Get the tail light nice and wet. I assume the car is hitting the back, but I can't really see where the body work was done. You know, did they replace this bumper? support. There's the sunroof drain. That's a little suspicious. Spray in the wheel. Oh, that looks, that looks dry. Rainwater is a habit of you know, hysteresis. It'll pull up somewhere and then it'll just seep, seep, and seep through microscopic holes. I'll we'll keep spraying it and see what happens. Well, I guess we might as well drain this swamp. Oh, yeah. water coming from. Alright guys, I think we got it. Check it out. So I close the trunk and give it a nice bath of water, then open the trunk, and right here, you can see this trace of water coming towards the uh, wheel well. That is our culprit. It looks like this, right there, boom, you just saw a drop come down. This body seam. So we at least have to remove the taillight assembly, possibly the bumper cover. Figure out how this water is getting into here. Maybe a bore scope. 
So apparently this, I think she backed into a tree or something, the previous owner before she sold it in California. And that's why the bumper cover is kind of pushed out. They said they replaced the trunk lid. Okay. That's the only water intrusion I see, and, and you can see, depending on if the car is tilted right or left, it'll leak either into this cavity here, or our, um, our spare tire cover. That's, that's pretty crazy. So let's do some more disassembly. I think just these three screws here. Pop the taillight out. Pour some more water in there, and see if we can pinpoint that leak. All right, I think we got a diagnosis. So the water is following this trunk seal. And right here, there's a seam between two body panels. And let's see if we just gently spray a little bit of water right here. Here it is. Boom. Yeah, that's a big leak, especially if you have the seal installed and it channels the water right into <laughs> that crack. Let's see what happens if we just channel water down through here. Right there, see? Huge. Excellent. Let's check this side. No leaks on this side. Beautiful. All right. So, super easy fix. We'll clean all this up and just put some flowable silicone right along that seam. And we shouldn't have any of this to worry about any longer. All right, here we go. Yes, I'm squeezing the silicone out of the corner because <laughs> it's solidified on the other end. But this stuff is amazing. I've fixed several cars with this stuff. I can't say enough good things about it. By Permatex. I think last time we used this was in that, on that Nissan Murano with the cracked body seams that was causing water intrusion into the rear view camera and taking out the, all the radio, HVAC stuff, everything on that, on that communication line. So anyways, we're going to let that seep in right into the crack and then let it solidify, put on the body seam or the uh, weather stripping. Put this thing back together. Got everything cleaned out. This will dry out pretty pretty fast. Well, this camera should be fixed. Now without this repair, like I said, I could not guarantee, the, you know, I couldn't give a one year guarantee on the battery repair if there's still a water intrusion problem. Now, that's up to the customer. If, you know, I thought they already fixed that problem, apparently not. So obviously that's an extra charge, but it's well worth it because it's a big investment here. You know, after the battery repair, you don't want to go through that again if you don't fix a silly water leak using, you know, like this could have prevented everything, this whole mess. Just a couple cents of silicone. So I don't know how much body work was done here. I don't think anyone touched the seam. I think it just separated from the impact, but no one ever checked and led to sad consequences. All right, now this car is done. I'll put back together. No more water leaks. Hybrids. <laughs> I guess if it wasn't for the impact, this never would have happened. But 
batteries don't like water, exposed connections don't like water, the green crusties times 10 in a hybrid because the voltage is 10 to 20 times higher on that battery. So thanks all for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.